Hashmatullah Shahidi is uh, been brought into the squad today and um, what a time to walk in 16 for 3 got a game on it's fine at this time that we go to the boundary we'll have to wait for the umpire signal and yes it's off the bat yeah not good from Tendai Chisoro sliding down leg again here quick and flat batsman helps himself to four runs and although he's got a wicket even the wicket that he got that ball was going down leg poor execution from the batsman at the time once again here sliding down leg the batsman helps himself Neville once again that's a beautiful shot the sound of the battle ball yeah whip on offer from Neville Mazira like we said this is a man in form he has cracked that off the middle of the bat back of the square and that races away for four I think that's gone all the way we're just talking about Shazad how he's played a few deliveries through the offside that's pitched up and he's hit that over that mid on fielder. We know how well he loves to hit the ball there. And uh, I think that ball's gone all the way for six. It's going after the bowling, Shazad. I uh, think it just lands on the rope. That's what the initial, yeah, uh, just looks like it. It's just landed on the rope. Yeah, that's six. Directly onto the rope. That's the first six from Shazad and the first from Afghanistan. Oh, gentle touch. That's very well done. Runs here for Shazad. And the ball is racing away against the boundary. Brilliant work done by Shazad. Very deliberate. Yeah, and he shows that he doesn't just muscle the ball. He's got a touch of class as well. Quick and flat from Chisoro. He's given himself a little bit of room, opens the face, and that runs it down through that vacant third man area for four. Valiant effort from the Zimbabwean fielder, Peter Moore, but not to be. In the air. Oh, has he got it? Yes, he has. Shazad is standing ground, but the fielder has claimed it. And that is a huge wicket. Wicket number four goes. This is Shazad's wicket. He got a boundary on the previous ball. And this time, trying to clear that mid-off fielder, hands it straight into his lap. That's a good catch taken by the captain. And that's the second wicket for Chisoro. Just didn't quite get enough as he would have liked. And that is huge. Zimbabwe feel they've got it. They've got the man they wanted. And they've got him pretty early. Shazad. 31 of 22 and Afghanistan 39 for four <laughs> Mirwais Ashraf is the next batsman he's done a brilliant job with the ball and now he's got a task to do with the bat Zimbabwe has come back strong this is the big wicket of Shazad don't know if uh, the uh, Coaching camp would be happy with Shazad's effort because uh, he just wanted to go after everything that was being bowled at him. Oh, there he is! That's the wicket they wanted here. John Waiters from Zimbabwe. Long way, angling the ball across and just seeming it away from the left-hander. A loose drive and Hamilton Masakatsa takes the catch. Afghanistan lose their fifth inside the ninth over. Asmatullah out for three, 45 for five. Half the side, back in the pavilion. Uh, Samyullah Shenwari it is at the crease. And that's the reason, ball angling away, just pushing at it with hard hands. The outside edge and uh, Masakatsa does the rest at first slip. Another one! Another one bites the dust here! 
What a spell it's been from Jong Wei. He's making it happen here for Zimbabwe. This one holds its line outside the off stump. And a little, little flirt off the back foot. Not a lot of foot movement, just the bat going towards it. Another catch at slip. What's going on? Zimbabwe have got Vanistan teetering. 46 for 6 as Ashraf out for 1. 46 for 6 are Afghanistan in reply. Shafiqullah had the crease, uh, average of 23, just one half century in the 15 matches that he's played. That's a good change. Oh. Gem of a delivery. That's a real beauty. Jong Wei getting the ball just to hold its line. Poor shot. No foot movement, pushed it off the back foot. We keep all the players here for the T20 and also for the one day. Uh, so some player will, uh, will be changed. I think it is a wicked follow. Let's go up there with our comms and tell us more. What a catch there. What a catch. From probably one of the better catches you'll see in international cricket. That's another one here for Zimbabwe. But Ziva again with that probing line outside of some full stretch type. And that's a brilliant catch. He knows it. Zimbabwe know it. And one is done. Shafikullah gone for zero. Slipped to 47 for seven. Ashik Khan it is in the middle. Oh my God, what's happening here? What's happening here? Another one in the kitty for Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe had lost seven for 49. Afghanistan go one better. Eight down now for 49. Another delivery just outside off stump. Just holding its line. Shanwari with a loose drive. Another caught behind. Another dismissal. Zimbabwe two wickets away from an amazing victory. Shanwari out for two. 49 for eight. Dalat Zadran. Uh, not much to write home about as far as batting is concerned. Oh, he's taken that. That's the nine wicket to fall for Afghanistan. A cut shot, cannot keep it down, work straight to hand. Is one is done, lose their ninth, Rashid Khan out for three. 50 for 9. Just the 13th over and uh, the last man is out there in the middle, Amir Hamza. <laughs> Jong Wei has an amazing figures. 4 for 5. That's that last wicket cut shot. Did not keep it on the ground and go straight to hand. Everything that Afghanistan have nicked or hit has gone straight to the fielders. This performance has got their uh, coach on his feet uh, for sure. Took nine wickets in under 13 overs to get what more standing. That looked very, very close as well. Looking for his Pfeiffer. Looks pretty straight. Comes back in. Oh. Maybe just impact outside off, but looked very straight to me. Oh, hit him on the pad. 
Look pretty much in front, uh, as far as I'm concerned. That's the one that just goes straight on. Oh, looks very, very close. It's actually hit the pad before his bat comes down. Looks straight. Oh, there he goes. One bounce over the ropes. Always on the card with the leg spinner. Rollock will fancy his chances. Ball tossed up. Obliges. Doesn't hit it completely in the middle, but goes straight enough. One bounce over the rope. Yes, has he got its man? Yes, he has. Five wickets here for Jungle. It's a fifer. Zimbabwe have won this game convincingly. Remarkable figures for John Wei. Five for six. Fantastic bowling. That one just down the leg side. A little noise. Good keeping again. A great catch. Lots of catches behind the wicket. Slips and the wicket keeper. Got everything. Zimbabwe with a remarkable turnaround. Scored just 175. A bowl of one is thrown out for 58. I mean, Hamza with that solitary run, as Zimbabwe win this game by 117 runs. That's the lowest total any team has scored against Zimbabwe. Afghanistan have been dismissed for 58, and Zimbabwe have won this game and kept their hopes alive in the series. Winning this game by a margin of 117 runs. Must be a happy man here, Hamilton Masakatsa. What an important knock he played for his team. 49 for 7. We thought they might get bundled out uh, for about 100 or so. Made sure they got to 175. And then Madziva and uh, Jongwe. What a spell of seam bowling from the two youngsters. Yeah, the Afghans disappointed and sure they should be. All out in just 16.1 overs. Yeah, that's what transpired here in Georgia, the third one day international. Zimbabwe winning the toss, electing to bat first 175, thanks largely to the effort of Hamilton Masakatsa and Prima. 104 and partnership for the eighth wicket, three wicket for Mirwais. The pick of the ball is for Afghanistan. And Afghanistan, when they came out to bat to chase down 175, they were bundled out for 58. Five wickets for Jongwe, three for Matziva, two for Chisoro. Zimbabwe winning this game by 170 